Another another secondary components of the cell wall includes gums, latex, alkaloids, and other complex organic compounds including dyes and coloring materials. Now first of all, gums. Now gums, you are familiar with this one. Gums is very common in the family. Sa potassae. Oh, gums are extractives. Gums. Just like what you buy, your chewing gums. Now, chewing gums comes originally from chicle. Chicle. Chicle from chico. Minilkara sa pota. Chicle. Ah, let me. Chicle. From Manilkara Sapota. Manilkara Sapota. Now, this species is from Chico Nato. It's coming from family Sapotase. Sapotase AE, which is very peculiar. Family of uh, species under this family is very peculiar for exuding sap in the form of gums. So, Gene or three species under the family Sabotaceae is exhibited by having exudates, gums, which is our sap in the form of gums. Example of this one is the chicol, which is the base in making your chewing gums. Well, now we have synthetic na ng mga chewing gums, which is made by copying the compounds that is present in chicol, but at ang unang panahon, ang ilang ginhimo ang chewing gum is ang sap that coming from the gum of Manilcara sapota or chico, which is chicle. We have also other forms of um, economically important um, gums coming from the family Sapotaceae. We have the Guta Percha. <coughs> we have what we call the Guta Percha. Gota percha is also an economically important gums from the family Sapotaceae from the genus Palakium or ang mga Palakium species. Okay, search na lang ninyo. Gota percha is from Palakium species. It's an economically important gum that is um, harvested from the tree of Palacrium under family Sapotaceae. So, gums are more like a sap from whitish to yellowish in color with a, with a specific property like a gummy or a sticky sub or a sticky property niya that differentiates it from the resin and tannins and other extractives. Now, we have also latex. So, what are latex? Now, just like gums, latex is also a secondary component or extractive. And latex, latex is also common sa ato nga known nga three species that produces economically important latex, which is the rubber tree. The rubber tree. Ibea brasiliensis. So, the rubber tree, rubber is harvested in the rubber tree. But did you ever think of how did your rubber turns? Or how did your, um, the rubber from um, the wheels of your motorcycle or your cars um, is made? It is made from the latex of the rubber tree. It's harvested, di ba? Nakita ninyo. 
you can watch YouTube videos. We call that as um, I forgot. Um, you make an incision along along the width of the tree. You make some incisions, and slowly the sap of the rubber tree is being collected. Gani sa ubus may danas. Tap the tipasan ba ako sa bisaya pa may tipasan ang imong rubber tree in a, in a spiraling slanting position and the sap or the latex that is being harvested is accumulated in the container below a container na now this is a sustainable way in harvesting latex as dili man mamatay ang imong rubber tree even if imo na siyang samad sa maran but of course, there is also a management, there is also a threshold, tolerance threshold sa imong rubber tree. Nga dili po na at sa iyang whole year round, imong yun ang samaran. You let the tree also heal its, heal the wounds nga imong gin, gin samaran. And through time na po, once makahil na siya, it can, also, can already produce again another set of latex made your rubber tree. So it's very common for rubber tree. We have also under family Apocynaceae, nagpo-produce kaya po ng latex. Apocynaceae is also a tree species, a family of tree species that produces latex. For example, dita, karang atong makita nga mga puti, white sap, mga dita, batino, those are tree species that produces white sap in the form of latex. Now, another Secondary component, we have also alkaloids. Now, alkaloid is a complex organic compounds that happens to be, when you hear the word alkaloid, it happens to be toxic in nature. Alkaloids. Alkaloids. Now, most alkaloids are toxic. This is a toxic substance. This is produced by some tree species in order to deter herbiv herbivores. For example, a good example of this is your acacia tree. Ang ato nga, acacia tree. Ang acacia, ha, nga dili ng atong samanayasaman. The acacia tree. The trees that is mostly found in Africa. This tree is found in Africa. Now, most herbivores in Africa, you see, we have giraffes, we have elephants. Now, these are large herbivores and they need, of course, leaves in order to eat. Now, in Hitabuana, there is a co-evolution that happens nga in order for the tree to protect itself, from herbivores mao na yung acacia tree iyang gibuhat is only the shoot part ang i ang ang stem o ang matured leaves sa imong acacia tree is full of alkaloids kani nga part dira ang mga mature nga mature nga leaves ang mature nga stem is full of alkaloids these are highly toxic substance Nga if kauno na sa atong mga herbivores, if kauno na sa atong herbivores, mag, mag igit o daot ang kiyan sa imong mga herbivores. Now, ang iyang nga sa shoot, less lang ang alkaloids. Maunang, ang kasagarang lang kaunon sa imong mga, mga herbivores like elephants or giraffes sa acacia tree is only the shoot tips. The, the matured ones, and the matured twigs and matured leaves, they cannot eat it, or they can eat it, but if kaunon lagi maglain, maglaot ang iyang tiyan because of the alkaloids. This is co-evolution as in order to protect the plants from too much herbivory, they produces this substance, alkaloids, in the cell wall in order to deter the attack of herbivores. Okay, claro. And lastly, we have ash. Ash, para sa yung nunahuna, ash is abo. 
ash is one of the extractives. It's usually less than 1% of the cell wall. The noon, ang kanay abog ba? Or hindi ka magsungo ka, magsugnod ka. Nakita niyo sa inyong abuhan. Abog. But the plant species, a species of plant that has high, very high of ash content species is your bamboo. A species of bamboo. Taas kaayo na siya. High in high in bamboo is high in silica content and ash silica and ash content in the cell wall now bamboo species have high in silica and ash content in the cell wall that's why if ma-observe ninyo pag nagamit kag sungo na kawayan pag na naugdaw ang kawayan ang may Ang mahibilin, makita kaya po ni mga kurma sa kawayan, bisag abo na siya. Diba? Because taas kayo ang silica content o ang ash content sa iyong mga bamboo. Of course, there are also other three species or plant species that have high ash, but compared, relatively compared, any nga bamboo, bamboo have higher ash o silica content. So, as an overview, mauto ang ato nga primary ang secondary components of the cell wall. Now, we will be focusing more of our next discussions. We will be focusing more on the primary component of the cell wall or the polysaccharide fraction, which is the holocellulose, the cellulose, and hemicellulose, and the lignin. We will focus on the three major primary components of the cell wall. Of course, may dagya punta discussion for the secondary components. And it will be discussed separately sa atong next ng mga lecture videos. Again, thank you for listening and I would like to remind you students to please check the modules and check the suggested readings in the module. Do your independent learning and if you have any questions regarding my discussion, please feel free to message me in my messenger, direct uh, PM me sa akong messenger para matabangan ka mo, mabuligan ka mo sa inyong mga pakiana. I will upload this lecture material, lecture videos in our group chat and in my YouTube channel. Now, thank you for listening. See you on my, le on my next lecture videos.